नमस्कार यू नो दैट हिंदी सेइंग ईट का जवाब पत्थर से वेल आई थिंक पाकिस्तान वांटेड टू डू समथिंग लाइक दैट मिसफायर्ड मिसाइल का जवाब मिसफायर्ड मिसाइल से इज दैट व्हाट हैपन लेट्स टेक अ क्विक लुक पाकिस्तान slowly towards anarchy and today it turns out that many more of imran khan's own party members pti members uh, have deserted and have holed up in the sindh house in islamabad and they are saying now that the opposition is 220 remember the total is 342 so they have a sizable majority and i suppose uh imran khan's mind voice is going um you know what is he what can he say i mean he's he's completely you know dejected what can i do maybe he's singing this kishor kumar song kashti mein baithoge toofan ka khatra hai gaadi ke safar mein saman ka khatra hai mandir mein jaoge bhagwan ka khatra hai घर में बिन बुलाए मेहमान का खतरा है वेल लाइफ इज टफ ही इज ट्राइंग टू फिगर आउट हाउ ही इज गोइंग टू एक्सट्रिकेट हिमसेल्फ फ्रॉम दिस मेस देर आर पीपल सेइंग दैट नाउ ही मे इवन ट्राई एंड डिक्लेयर मार्शल लॉ और सम सॉर्ट ऑफ एन इमरजेंसी विथ व्हिच ही कैन स्टे ऑन इन पावर आई थिंक द चांसेस ऑफ दैट हैपनिंग आर लेस एंड लेस and i think the establishment is now beginning to wash his hands off of him they are probably telling him look we selected you now we are deselecting you okay tata bye bye see you soon so he would be i guess trying to figure out where he should hole up next saudi arabia well he went and pissed off the king there dubai <laughs> dubai is that khatra song we don't know maybe he'll go back to london but then there are two ex wives there so who knows this man is in a bit of a pickle maybe he's going to come to our own silicon valley who knows so we'll have to wait and see what happens there now there's another interesting development that has taken place the oic the organization of islamic countries are having a foreign ministers conference in islamabad and they have invited the hurriyat hurriyat whatever you want to call it uh, also to come and meet them there i can tell you this is a direct you know uh, mirchi uh, effect of uh, kashmir files the kashmir files movie i saw it yesterday oh my god this is so gut wrenching that's the only way i can say you have to go and see it i don't want to spoil it for you the truth it it presented in a very very objective manner because every instance that is there you will find a newspaper article explaining that so we have to wait and see what happens but i'm sure that these people will not go i don't think the indian government will allow them to go why give somebody who is completely ideologically bankrupt a new uh, opportunity or opening by giving them a permission to travel abroad i don't think they will i don't think they should so we have to wait and see but all drama suddenly the left loony ecosystem is on the back foot i mean seriously on the back foot they don't know whether to expect a yorker or a bouncer in fact uh, imran khan said that i am going to take three wickets with one ball and fortunately for him he is seeing that he is being dismissed once and the replay is being shown three times what to do these are tough times for him and uh, somehow he is not willing to accept the reality so we have to see what happens after that but viewers there is interesting days ahead 27th march is the deadline for the no confidence motion to be convened by the speaker of the assembly and also remember that uh, by the 1st of april they need to have the next 
chief of armed services also appointed and typically the appointment happens six months ahead so october is when the new coas will start therefore the appointment has to be done by first april so very narrow window of passage here who who's going to be the prime minister who's going to sign who the next coas is going to be we have to wait and see thanks for watching please like share and subscribe to our channel and also click on the bell button namaskar Thank you.